What is happening, guys? I do. It's your boy Connor85 and I'm back in the cut again, guys. Hopefully, you guys miss me because I am back like I never left. Anyways, guys, if it's your first time coming across this video and this channel, make sure you guys you leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell notification as well so you know when I release a new video as I release a new video every single day as well. Sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times. You just never know. And also, guys, I'll leave my link for my Instagram just down below. So we've got a special shoe today. It's the Nike Dunk High, the Magnus Walker and E Short. So um, this shoe is actually inspired by Magnus Walker, who's got a Porsche 911T. It's um, called the 277. So I think there's been certain parts of the car which is actually put onto this shoe, which, you know, um, is uh, quite unique in its own right. And, you know, if you like cars, if you like Porsches, then this is a shoe for you. We'll talk about the shoe itself, the design, the look of it, what I think about it and all those things and so forth as well. So today we're taking information from Sneaker News. So we'll just start, you know, screen recording so you guys can look at what I'm looking at as well. So yeah, let's just start guys. So bam guys, as you guys can see there, you're greeted by these Dunk Highs, the Nike Dunk Highs, which are very colorful. And you can tell the story behind this shoe. As I say, this guy like Magnus Walker, he owns a Porsche. So this shoe is designed after his own car as well so it's quite busy there's a lot of things that's happening in terms of the colors in terms of the materials and just you know little signs you know little different things all over the shoes so we'll just break everything down as quick as possible so straight away guys you can see the shoe comes in sort of a it's like a, a washed up sort of white it's like a weird sort of color it's as if the shoe is used but it's brand new so i like that it's quite different um, it's got that like you know used look but the shoe is brand new so you've got your red your white and your blue and a bit of black as well with the little signs so that's quite nice i like that so we'll just scroll down guys and get, try and get some close uh close-up looks of the shoe itself so the shoe is going to come out like uh, on june the 21st as well uh it's going to cost 120 us dollars beg your pardon so as you guys can see with the side profile, there's got 277. So you've got this like, you know, used white. So you can tell it's got like a suede on the front where the toes go. You know, the red part over there, it's actually suede. Then you've got this white, but it's like this like white, you know, with cracks in it. I don't know how, how Nike has done that, but you know, it's, it looks very old and very used, which is such a look that I do like. Then you've got the midsection there, which has got the blue, tick as well but you've also got little ventilation holes there and you've also got that weird sort of like uh, black like sign there i'm not sure what it's saying but one thing i do like is um if you look on the side there's 277 in red there and just straight down below it says nike sb so if you know with porsches they've got their own like writing for porsche so it's their own font and their own lines as well so that nike sb has been taken from certain Porsche cars, you can actually put the, put this as, a, as an option where you can get like um, the side of the door, you know, uh, written uh, as in, you know, saying Porsche. Or also, if your car's got a spoiler, a fixed spoiler, such as the Porsche GT3, you can actually put Porsche on top of your spoiler. So that Nike SP is in the same font type as the Porsche, which is a nice touch as well. Um, so you've got blue and red laces as well. I do like the red piping, which is in on the midsection piece over there, which also goes all the way to the back as well. It's, you know, obviously something which some, you know, um, people that buy expensive cars like Porsches, they'll also ask for the like, piping to be red or stitching as well to be a certain color. So this has got different stitching on the back as well. We'll get to that. It's a shoe that you can't just cover in, in five minutes. You've got to like really dwell. You know, just get, immerse yourself in the shoe, break it apart piece by piece and leave nothing, no stone unturned, as they say. As you guys can see with the sole there, it's almost got like a France flag to it. You've got baby blue, then you've got the white, then you've also got the red as well. That's the color of his car as well. So I like that. I, I, see, I do love collaborations because they've always got a story behind it. And it's nice to get the story behind it and just, you know, just, just dissect the story itself, really. So we'll just scroll down and 
that is the inside of the shoe so it's the same as the outside of the shoe itself uh oh look at that so again also with the inside of the shoe you can tell there's a bit of tartan so you've got red tartan on the far right then you've got blue tartan on the other side as well i love that touch and it reminds me of scotland quite a lot especially during christmas and then you've got the nike sb the walker as you can tell the walker says the walker i won't even try and read that but you can tell it's got that like porsche font type as well which is very nice as well so i've spoke about how the laces are quite different i'm going to complain as such i think i'll probably keep them the same as well i wouldn't try and change then the tongue itself has got exposed you know uh sponge at the top which reminds me of the air jordan one zoom the comforts which have got that deconstructed look as well so it lends from that which i'm fine with i haven't got any issues at all whatsoever so yeah so you've also got urban outlaw on the side just next to the blue tick on the inside part as well and it's also prominent as well on the tongue on the inside part as well so when we're looking at the shoe from the back you can tell this guy's got some british um you know roots in terms of the union jack there and also the tartan as well so you know he obviously comes from scotland which is part of uh, the united kingdom and um, so it's nice to see you know someone from the uk doing quite well over there excuse moi so when you look at the stitching on the back next to 277 you can tell it's got that like old vintage look to it which is what i like i think with the uh the vintage look right now it's trendy it's in fashion then you've got the blue ticks which come and join in the back there the in the middle where the loop is the red loop i do love the stitching with the union jack as well you've got your red and your blue that's a nice color to be honest i've only got nothing but praise for this shoe this is a shoe that you buy and you keep your own even word just because it's got a lot of history i you know, I just wouldn't wear this shoe. I'd buy it and just keep it. I mean, look at the details. And it has a lot of details. Look at the cracks in the leather, that deliberate crack in the leather. You can also tell the material is quite different. You've got uh, this canvas material on the back, which I didn't pick up before. On the, If you look at the upper back, can you see the upper back? It's like as if it's a sock which has been put on top of the shoe. So it's like a canvas material. Oh... And it's got an exposed top, so you can see the sponge in the middle, which even makes the shoe more fragile. Hence why I said, if I get these shoes, I'll probably not wear them. I'll just leave them there as a grail, which I think these will be a grail in the future. We're not sure about the uh, quantity, but I'll probably say these will be in the low. So the price is just going to be up the roof. We'll talk about pricing pretty soon. Bloody hell, it's almost eight minutes. Well, it's after eight, actually. So... Yeah, one thing I also like as well is how uh, the Nike SB there, it looks as if it's been, you know, scratched a little bit. I like that. It's keeping up with the vintage design and language of the shoe, which is fantastic. I do love the leather with the cracks in the middle. You know, I do love the cracks. They're quite nice. Well, actually, I made a mistake and said the red part was suede, but it's actually this, like, very hard industrial cloth material, which is very nice. Um that shot just from there is even better as well i can't even talk you know anything bad about this shoe i do love the shoes i love shoes but like there's a lot of history behind it honestly so let's get onto the styling tips so what can you so if you're just crazy to wear these shoes then why would you wear these shoes with easy just wear the colors that are there blue red white and black simples do you know what? find anything which is those colors you can wear it so let's talk about resale value. So these are going to retail for hundred and twenty dollars, roughly hundred and twenty pounds. I'd probably say one ten, one fifteen, and these are, I think, going to start reselling from three hundred pounds. Definitely, definitely, over two hundred and fifty pounds minimum, minimum. You know, now don't go and get a stupid size, a size fifteen UK, and come back and say, oh, you told me the price is going to be over this, but it's not. I'm talking regular normal sizes for normal people. Do you know what I mean? Not that I'm saying giant people are not normal, but it's just, you know, normal sizing, right? So, yeah, so from your UK size 5s, 6s, 7s, 8, 9, 10, 11, you will be able to make over £250. Now, bear in mind, I'm being very conservative with my figures. So, chances are 
the risk is going to be quite high. Now, as time goes on, the risk are, well, I think probably stay flat. You know, it's one of those shoes that like um, the Risa will never dip down quite a lot if it does, but you always get more than, you know, you pay for the shoe more than once over, easily more than once over. Um, I'd probably say the best thing is just to hold the shoe itself, to be fair, you know? Um, yeah, I think the best thing is just to hold the shoe. Um, that's the end of the video, guys. Nice and sweet and not too long. Just want to say thanks for watching and make sure, guys, you give me the, give me the thumbs up on this video. And also subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so you know when I release a video. And also make sure you follow my Instagram handle. I'm out. Peace. God bless you.